All right, how you guys doing? Mr. Muscaro and Pythagoras coming at you, and this time we're going to start with another special right triangle, one of our other faves, the 30-60-90 right triangle. Now this is a triangle depicted on the right-hand side of your screen. Now that triangle has the ratio of 1 to 2 to square root of 3 for those side lengths. And the important thing to remember is where all of those are located. So each side is going to have a very particular name, and we're going to learn what those names are here momentarily. And that's right. What I want you to do is look at the part on the right. You're going to be given the 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle. And they're each going to have, each one of the sides is going to have a very particular name. Now short leg, and that's often abbreviated, SL, that's going to be across from the right, or across from the 30 degree angle. And that has a ratio of 1. So that's going to be the number 1. Across from the right angle is our hypotenuse, and we'll just abbreviate that H. That's going to be twice as long as whatever the short leg is. So if you know short leg, just double it. You got the long leg. Boom, you're done. Now the long leg, we'll abbreviate that one LL. The long leg is going to be square root of three times as long as whatever the short leg is. So those are just real quickly how to do, how to identify those couple of pieces. So what I want you to do, yeah, there's some formulas there on the left, and there's even this other funky thing, because in some textbooks, they might represent it this way. x, 2x, and x squared of 3, 4, and then they have to put a 30 in there, or maybe they just put a 60 in one of the angles, or maybe they put both in because they're really nice. But either way, you go about taking a look at that, the algebra, some books might represent it that way. So what you've got to be able to do is just identify all of those pieces what is what so what I want you to do first we're going to try a couple of these here and we're going to start off example number one now where's the 60 degrees is right here so from across from it that's going to be long leg hypotenuse is going to be right here and then short leg will be over on this side all right not too bad so here's 30 degrees across from it over here is short leg hypotenuse is here and then long leg would be right here. Now let's actually do a quick easy one before we get into some more complex ones. Say that we're given the short leg, so the, here's 30 degrees right here. Say we're given that short leg has a value of four, because four is the cosmic number. More on that later. Now what you're gonna do, because notice where that that is, that's my short leg. So to go from short leg to the hypotenuse, I'm just gonna double the short leg. So if I multiply 4 by 2, the hypotenuse has a value of 8. Now to go from short leg to long leg, you're just going to take whatever short leg is, in this case 4, and you're going to multiply that by the square root of 3. And that's it. That's all you have to do for that kind of problem. Pretty straightforward if you're given the short leg. Now for more examples of problems similar to that, you can take a look at the 7-4 video, solving 30-60-90 triangle, given the short leg. But we're not going to take a look at that right now. We're actually going to get into a couple other examples. Here we're going to have, find the value of these variables. We're going to have x and y in problem number 5, and then just x in problem number 6. Now, what I like to do to kind of get started, I, whenever I'm solving these kind of problems, I always like to just kind of go through and draw my own little, what I call a reference triangle. And I'll just put a 30 there, and then a 1, two and a square root of three because everything's going to go along with that ratio now the 30 degrees is here which means x across from it that's going to be my short leg so i'm going to write sl right there the nine is across from the 60 degrees which means that's my long leg and then the hypotenuse well that is right here where the y is so i've identified all of those key pieces so here's kind of one way that you could take a look at it you can do long leg to short leg. You could do this kind of ratio. And then long leg and one triangle is 9. And the short leg in the same triangle that we're given is x. And then in my regular 30, 60 degree triangle, the long leg has a value of square root of 3. And the short leg has a value of 1. So this piece is pretty straightforward now. Once I've got that set up, I could say, hey, okay, x square root of 3 equals 9. When you divide both sides by 3, or square root of 3, you get 9 over square root of 3. But math people don't like that. They don't like that. We don't like to have the 
denominator be a square root, so then you have to rationalize that. So you have square root of 3 times, or over square root of 3, so then when you go to rationalize that, you would end up with 9 square roots of 3 over 3. Oh, but wait, one more step. We've got to go ahead and reduce, because 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 9 3 times, so our final answer would be 3 square roots of 3. That's one way you could do this problem. To find my hypotenuse, this is actually the easy one. Because a hypotenuse, notice in my reference triangle, I have a 2 to 1 ratio. So my hypotenuse is double whatever my short leg is. So if I know my short leg, so I'm going to write it out like this. So the hypotenuse is going to be double my short leg. Well, the hypotenuse, that's represented by y, right? And then my short leg, I just found that thing. So that's 3 squared, it's so a 3. When I multiply that together, I have y gets a value of 6 square roots of 3. Booyah, done with that. So that's that 2 to 1 ratio. My hypotenuse is twice as long as my short leg. So that's all there is to that one. Now, example number 6, pretty straightforward. So let me switch colors here so we don't get those mixed up. Now, short leg is 30, 30 degrees is here, so that means this square root of 3 is my short leg. Hypotenuse is over here. And then the x is the long leg. Now again, I have short leg and I'm going to long leg. So I have like where the 1 is and I'm going to the long leg. So we'll do this real quickly here. So I've got short leg to long leg. That's the ratio I'm going to use. Now in my triangle that I, I'm given, short leg is square root of 3 and long leg is x. And then in my reference triangle, the short leg has a ratio of 1 to square root of 3 with my long leg. Now check it out. Cross multiply 1 times x, that's just x. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, when I multiply those two together, what do you get? Yeah, you got it. 3. Booyah. Done. So that's the value of x. Now if you wanted to find the hypotenuse, which we're not given, but we'll go ahead and do that anyway because we got mad math skills. So to find the hypotenuse, now the hypotenuse again, hypotenuse is twice as long as short leg, so I'll write that down. Hypotenuse is two times my short leg. Now my short leg has a value of square root of three. So I just double square root of three. Well, okay, that's gonna be just two square roots of three, and I'd be done with that. Thanks for playing, have a nice day. So that's it for examples 5 and 6. Now I like to use the reference triangle, which I drew there in blue in the middle, and that just kind of helps me see some things for it. Now, no class would be complete without its very own word problem. So we're going to get a little word problem here for example number 7. And what I want you to do first is read the problem and draw these three triangles. After you have the three triangles drawn, then come on back and let's see what we got. We'll put some pieces together here. Now one of the things that we're told in our original problem is this phrase right here. We're told that we've got an equilateral triangle, so that's important. We're also told that each one of those sides are six centimeters. So what I'm going to do is actually mark that around this first triangle. Each side is six centimeters for my equilateral triangle. What I also know about equilateral triangles something about the angles. How many degrees are in each one of the angles in an equilateral triangle? Yeah, if you said 60 degrees, give yourself a pat on the back. You got that. So each one of these angles is 60 degrees. Now with that said, I want to go over to the second triangle over here. And I want to just label this side 6. I'm going to leave the units off for now. But, I, but we'll come back to that in a second. Now we're being asked, what's the approximate height of the logo? So I'm being asked to find this piece right here where this dashed line is. So that's H. So I'm going to go over to this third triangle here, and I'm going to draw that as well. Then I'm going to fill in this other information that I've got. That's 6. And then the angle right down here, that's 60. And so is this angle right here. Now, the missing angle at the top of my third triangle right here, well, we know that's going to be 30 degrees now. Same thing here in my middle triangle. That's going to be 30 degrees. So this is what I'm kind of working with right here, this final triangle all the way over on the right-hand side. So once I've got that, it's pretty easy to kind of see where those pieces are. I'm going to use my, my ratio. So i got to draw my little reference triangle. 
because I always, always, always do that. Because the 306090 is a little bit harder to get down. So I'm going to put the 30 there, the 1 there, 2 there, and a square root of 3 down here. Now the piece that I'm given, I'm given 60 degrees. So I'm across from that to H. That is going to serve as my long leg. So that's the part that I'm trying to find. The 6 that I have, that piece of information that I'm given, well, that's where, where my hypotenuse is. So I'm going to compare those two pieces on my reference triangle. So check this out here. So my reference triangle, we're going to work with the ratio of the hypotenuse to long leg for both of these. Now in the triangle that I'm given, that I'm trying to find, I've got my hypotenuse is 6, but the height that I'm trying to find, my long leg, well that's what H is. I don't know what that is yet, so we got to figure that out. Now in my reference triangle, the 1, 2, square root of 3 triangle, the height, that has a ratio of 2, and then my long leg is going to be square root of 3. So that's going to be my ratio right up there. Now when you cross, multiply, and divide, you'll get 2H equals 6 square root of 3. Well, dude, that's pretty easy to figure out. Just divide both sides by 2, and you end up with 3 square root of 3. So that is how long my height is. But that's not what they want to know. They want to know the approximate height of the logo. So the approximate height of the logo, we're going to need to take that 3 square root of 3, put it into a calculator, and round to, I'd say, about the tenths place should be pretty good. So go ahead and do that. And then when you're done, I want you to write a sentence that actually answers that question. So how'd you do with that? Did you get the sentence right? Key thing I want you to pay attention to though, your answer needs to be in a complete sentence and include units. That wasn't so bad now, was it? And I thought you guys were probably gonna freak out when you saw this word problem, but that's why I like using the reference triangle, set up those proportions instead of looking at all of the different formulas because the formulas can be a little bit confusing. There's a lot of those, one, two, three, four, there's four different formulas for there. But if you just remember how to set up a ratio and then solve a proportion, your money. All right, Rockstar, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will catch up with you guys soon. Peace out, Cub Scout. Later.